Back in a deadly hit and run from last summer, went into court today in Compton. The man who died in that incident was a homeless individual, and his sister was in court today to demand justice. And Channel 4's Laurel Erickson has more on this. This is Bill Kuna talking to his beloved sister on the cell phone just hours before his truck burst into flames and killed him. The suspect accused of T-boning Kuna's truck, running away, lying to investigators about driving his mother's SUV, actually walked away a free man. To me, it was a disgrace to my brother's honor. His body was completely broken. Every inch of it was mutilated. Today, prosecutors cracked down. The judge slapped Roberts with a $100,000 bail. The bail of handcuffed him and took him off to jail. Robert's attorney called it a play for the media. The district attorney and the detective in this particular case have known about every aspect of this case since August of last year. The judge refused to allow cameras in, but the drama over the suspect who almost walked free during a manslaughter trial spilled outside the courthouse. Robert's attorney described the young father very, very this way. Even the night that it happened, uh, the eyewitnesses say that he was hysterical. My brother was a very giving, um, if you look at the picture, I mean, he was just a really peaceful guy and he loved nature and he loved people. We, we think that he might have, as, it's not uncommon, fallen asleep. And at that point, he's in the middle of the intersection, all he can do is apply his brakes. Sign at 80 miles an hour. You don't blow a red light with witnesses at 80 miles an hour. And then you run from the scene. The price for ending one man's life will be told over the next few months. Robert's attorney says there is no doubt this young father will go to jail. Laurel Erickson, Channel 4 News, Compton. The so Hit and run from last summer went into court today in Compton. The man who died in that incident was a homeless individual, and his sister was in court today to demand justice. And Channel 4's Laurel Erickson has...